Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again. I think I fought this person before very recently. It's kind of... I remember fighting against Hinokami Tanjiro, but not under this name. Maybe it's a different person with the same team. Ooh, damn. Got caught on the beginning of the round. Anyways, yeah, obviously, playing online. What? Bro, what is going on? I'm getting hit by everything. I need to shut up. Yeah, I'm playing with Yutaro online. And I have no meter. Oh god, that punished my single button. Crazy. He actually does have a lot of recovery on the first few hits of his attack string. More than normal characters. What? He mashed after one button? Why? Oh god, I cannot get out of that. Tried my best, no chance against Tengen support. Oh, okay. Nice time to press buttons. Hey, hitting you both. Projectiles didn't even. Wait, they. Where are they? They didn't even come in! Projectiles, where are you? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, so speaking of the larger recovery on Gutaro's first few normals. It seems like they're even punishable on block, even just the first hit. Oh, crap. How am I supposed to get out of this, bro? <laughs> Which means you can't really just tap them and expect to be safe. You have to either cancel and jump away or cancel into special moves, which are pretty committal. Oh, wait, how did that just totally go through him? What is going on here? What is going on? Tengen, get off my screen. You're too flashy. Tengen, are you kidding? What? I hate sports so much. Nice escape. Oh, I actually managed to get out. Tengen. Oh, I won. I had no idea what the hell just happened there. I wish there was a demon that could, like, disable the support gauge. Imagine how fun that would be. Ooh, sorry, bud. Double right guess. The double right guess I had no meter I needed to boost, but I managed to use it all up before I even needed to boost. That's a good feeling. I think Yutaro is a character that is pretty good at cashing out in that, like, he can spend his meter in ways that are useful. Not really cashing out like Demon Nezuko, who could she can just cash out in a combo to deal like 70% life. But Yutaro can, like, spend all his meter before he boosts and it will actually do something. Like, he can set up his projectiles and. Oh, no, that's bad. I don't know what kind of flop combo that was. I don't know why I did my special so early when I have, like, no meter. <sighs> T. 
See, look how much recovery there was on that uh, that second part of his attack stream. It's crazy. Oh, I didn't want to break that, but... Oh my god! What? Oh, well, went in between my- oh, those things are gonna come hidden though! <laughs> oh, love that. Love when it actually works. Oh, nice. Oh, thanks for missing the punish though, appreciate it. Oh, damn, okay. This isn't gonna be much of a combo. Just spend all my meter before he can break the combo. And I think. Oh! It's actually gonna kill. Damn. That's some juicy damage. Oh, wrong way, bro. And here we go. Oh, okay, I kind of... Oh, wait, is that going to delete my projectiles? It better not. Oh, it didn't! <laughs> the only cinematic that I'm aware of that deletes them is grabs, and also ultimates. But yeah, Surge deletes some things, like it deletes supports. It's interesting that it doesn't get rid of my projectiles. I mean, I love it. But it definitely catches people off guard. <laughs> Something I was thinking about during that set is, in this game, there's a weird amount of just getting hit for, like, no reason. You know, I'm sure you've all experienced this, but, you know, sometimes when you, like, are knocked down and you, like, do that weird roll as you wake up, and the opponent just dashes you at something, and you just get hit for no reason. Like, you weren't pressing buttons or mashing anything, and, like, you're pretty sure you're blocking, but you just randomly get hit on Oki for no reason. Or sometimes when you're jumping... You just get hit as you land on the ground, or you're just walking. And I'm curious to know if that's just because there's, you know, a little bit of delay in the connection, because it has to use delay-based netcode. Or is it there, like, a changing amount of, like, input delay? Because that's a problem with some games' netcodes that makes it really, if it changes, is really bad. Or, I don't know, some kind of changes with inputs, because it's this game, more than any other that I've played, I just noticed you get hit by just nothing, for no reason. Oh, wrong way, bro! <laughs> we both went for a tilt specials. Oh god, how much damage is this gonna do? Oh, not too bad, actually. Oh, trying to run away? Damn, the damage! Oh, no! Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I didn't want a boost to have to get my demon gauges back. So, thanks for handing me the win. Oh, yes. I hate when that happens to me, but it's fun when it <laughs> When you get to abuse it against someone else. Oh, I thought I did an up combo. What was that? Can we go in for a throw again? Yes, we can. Oh, 
Damn, that worked twice in a row. Two matches, one the same way. Interesting. Oh, I thought he was going to dash in and I was going to be so smart. Come on, up combo. Oh, damn it. I forgot how close he was to the corner. Is this going to kill? To level 3, it should. His ultimate scale is pretty damn bad. But hopefully- oh, actually no, I don't think it is. Oh, it is! Hey, okay, I'm, I'm never right. <laughs> what if we trying to guess whether an ultimate kills or not? I don't know if I've guessed correctly in my life. It looks so cool, though. Some people are complaining that it's, like, too dark. I don't know, I think that ultimate's one of the best in the game. Perfectly animated, perfectly... Perfect camera work and lighting, everything. I, I love it. Rematch? No rematch. Tengen seems to be a pretty popular character, like, even months after his release. And I'm assuming that's because he's a pretty powerful support character, most of the people have him as a support. That person there was playing, actually, as Tengen. But, uh, yeah, I think people playing as Tengen is actually quite rare. Maybe he's just a super strong support, and that's the only peop reason people use him. Oh, same person. We're coming in. Ooh, nice armor attack. Ooh, a little overcommittal there. Look at his damage. That's been like two hits. He's already gone. Something I'd be curious to do is actually add up, like, and count how much poison damage actually ends up doing in a round for Kyutaro. Like, is it. <laughs> does it actually provide much benefit to him, or is it just like. Yeah, they're poison, but it doesn't really do anything. This makes them purple. <laughs> Why, why did my projectiles not come back, by the way? Why does that happen sometimes? They're just like, never mind, I don't feel like it. So there's certain places where they get placed off screen, they like actually run into the environment. Because I noticed there was a place on the entertainment map where they like seem to run into the bench. Oh, wow, that actually tracked my jump sidestep? Interesting. Oh! Okay, that was some delay-based netcode right there. Because, you know, I was in the air, I thought I may have been dropping down, so I was just mashing the attack button. And then, well, very clearly, when there's an ultimate, it's very easy to react to because there's a time slowdown. So I was holding guard, but my attack still came out from, like, three seconds prior. Where are you going? Tengen, Tengen, that's not fair, that's not cool. <laughs> My projectiles, I don't think they came back again. These dumbass trees. Oh, sorry, bud. Oh, didn't get a punish. Oh. <laughs> Is that disrespectful? That's a bit disrespectful. Sorry. Apologies. Gentleman's handshake. Mm. Didn't expect a rematch. <laughs> well, 
Gears of War is still fun and still seems pretty powerful, particularly against like not too strong opponents. It seems like he's one of the characters that might have like a significant skill to success, skill of opponent to success um uh, curve. So like against people who are slightly you know not the best players in the world. He does really well against it, has really good pressure and really good gimmicks. But then when people really know how to fight him, he actually struggles quite a lot because there is a lot of answers to the things he does if the people know how to do them correctly. And it kind of shuts down everything in one fell swoop. So I'm interested to see how he develops over time strength-wise. Also, wow, look at the, look at that success rate. 179 to 120 wins. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you, Hinokami Chronicles. Make me feel better about myself. Anyways, <laughs> that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.